What's up, everybody? It's JT Sports and Match, you guys, with another video. And I'm here with my Indianapolis Colts versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Previewing prediction, going to be previewing this matchup and giving my prediction on who will win this game. Now, before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, upload NFL videos and college football videos daily. Now, the Indianapolis Colts, basically the whole offseason has been basically Andrew Luck retiring and a lot of people think that they're not going to be that good of a team now that Andrew Luck is gone. Now, I'm going to admit, I don't think the Indianapolis Colts are going to be as good. Like, a lot of people thought they were going to be able to compete for a Super Bowl with Andrew Luck. But even without Andrew Luck, I still think this Indianapolis Colts team is good enough to win their division. And I still think they're good enough to make it to the playoffs. And the reason why is because Jacoby Brissett. Now, when Jacoby Brissett was the starter a couple of years back, for the Indianapolis Colts, he had like 13 touchdowns and what, like seven interceptions. And he was okay. He wasn't terrible, but he wasn't great neither. But I think he was pretty okay. And that was back when he didn't really have a lot of receivers really to throw to other than yeah, he didn't really have a lot of wide receivers and things like that. And the offensive line was really bad. He also didn't really have that good of a run game. Now this is a whole new, entirely different Indianapolis Colts team. You have Frank Wright who's going to be calling the plays. You're going to have a way better off the line than what he had to play with a couple of years back. I mean, this dude was getting destroyed every single play. If you go back to that Jacksonville Jaguars game, whoo, boy, he got absolutely killed that game. Boy, I was, I was shocked that he was even able to stand up after he was getting all those sacks. So, I mean, he has a running game. You got Marlon Mack there. You have T.Y. Hilton. You got Paris Campbell. You got Devin Funches. So, I mean, this guy has weapons. You got Jack Doyle, who a lot of people are really high on. Eric Ebron. So, Jacoby Brissett has a lot more weapons than what he has to work with a couple of seasons back when he was a starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. So I think this Indianapolis Colts team is still going to be good enough to be able to win a couple of games and make it to the playoffs. And for this LA Chargers team, they're starting to battle the injury bug. So Darren James is supposed to be on IR for the first couple of weeks of this year's season. So he is supposed to come back, but he's going to be on IR for the first couple of weeks of this season according to a report that I just read then you have the Melvin Gordon situation which is a little bit of a loss but I don't think it's a huge loss because you have it's Austin Eckler and then you also have Jackson as well who Jackson had a very solid game versus the Pittsburgh Steelers last year and then you have a very solid off the line the top 10 off the line in the NFL you have a top 10 quarterback in Phillip Rivers you have Keenan Allen as well and you got Mike Williams who is coming off of a very big season last year so you got a lot of weapons on the defense side of the ball they're very low that to say the position. I mean, they have a lot of guys who can replace Duran James. They're not going to be as good as Duran James, but they can be a solid replacement until Duran James comes back. I'm not saying they're going to match his production or anything, but they have a lot of depth in that safety position there. So I think they'll be pretty solid until Duran James returns. And then on the defensive line, I mean, you got Joey Bosa and you got Melvin Ingram. That's probably one of the best one-two pass rushing duos that we have in the NFL. So, I mean, they have a lot of talent on this team top to bottom i think they have one of the most complete rosters in the nfl and for this game i think this game is going to be really interesting now some of my keys to the game what each of these teams needs to do and able to have a chance to win this game so the indianapolis Colts, i think they need to get the ball to marlon mack marlon mack had a very good season last year and i thought he probably could end up having a thousand yards rushing last year if he never was battling injuries early on in the season so marlon mack now he's going to be fully healthy. So I think Marlon Mack, you got to be able to get him in the ball. He's a very explosive pad back, very shifty as well, can make a lot of guys miss. He's also a very good running back when it comes to catching passes at the backfield as well. So I think if you're the Indianapolis coach and your friend right, you got to be able to get Marlon Mack the ball. You definitely want to get him a very good amount of touches in this game. I think the Indianapolis coach need to be able to get Marlon Mack at least 20 touches this game if they want to be able to win this game. Now, Jacob Brissett is a very good quarterback and things like that, but I think if you want to win this game, you probably want to give Marlon Mack the ball at least 20 times, let him touch the ball at least 20 times, get him a couple carries as well because I really think that he is a very great halfback I think he's a very dynamic halfback and I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up making it to the Pro Bowl this year so if you're the Indianapolis coach you got to be able to get Marlon Mack the ball next up the Indianapolis coach secondary has to play very well now although the LA Chargers have running backs Austin Eckler and Jackson both of those guys are very solid replacements 
I still think they were still going to rely heavily on the passing game with Phillip Rivers. So if you're the Indianapolis Colts secondary, going to have to play very, very well in this game. And this Indianapolis Colts defense was a lot better than what a lot of people are giving them credit for. They don't really have a lot of holes. Probably the only holes that they have is a linebacker position, but I think they're pretty set there. And then you have their former All-Pro who they have in the linebacker position as well. So, I mean, they are very, very solid on the defense side of the ball. So, I do think this Indianapolis Colts secondary is going to be able to play very well and good enough to be able to win this game. But they're going to, if they want to win this game, the secondary most definitely has to play very well because Phillip Rivers is a very good quarterback. He's going to take a lot of deep shots as well. So, if you're the Indianapolis Colts, the secondary has to play very very well and you want to be able to walk out of LA with a win and the last thing that they need to do in my opinion as well for the Indianapolis Colts is you kind of don't really want to rely heavily on the passing game just because I know the offensive line is very good but try to control time possession and keep this LA Chargers offense off the field and I think that's what the Indianapolis Colts need to be able to do and they want to be able to win this game now for the LA Chargers my only key to victory for them is to be able to get pressure on Jacoby Brissett now Jacoby Brissett on the pressure he tends to kind of do a little bit too much and it leads to him either fumbling the ball holding on to the ball too long or throwing an exception so if you're the LA Chargers you have one of the best pass rushing duos in the NFL Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa so you want to get those guys going you want to get those guys being able to get pressure on Jacoby Brissett and force him to hold on to the ball force him to try to make a play and force him to try to make mistakes in this game so if you're the LA Chargers and they're able to do that then I think they have a very good chance to win this game so the team that I'm going to go with to win this game I'm going to go with the Los Angeles Chargers and no it's not because the Indianapolis Colts don't have Andrew Luck even if the Indianapolis Colts did have Andrew Luck I would still take the LA Chargers because I think that the LA Chargers have a more complete team than what the Indianapolis Colts have although they are without Melvin Gordon and Duran James two of their best players I do think that Overall, this is a very solid LA Chargers team. They have a very good defense. They have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL, top 10 at least. And you have a very good group of wide receivers and weapons for Phillip Rivers to throw to. So I'm going to go with the LA Chargers to win this game. I think my final score for this game is going to end up being 21 to 17 is my final prediction for this game so let me know who you guys think is going to end up winning this game down in the comment section down below also make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more nfl videos and content and thanks for watching